Today we're going to be breaking down, opening up, and building a Raspberry Pi 4. Now this one is from Canakit. It's a Pi 4 starter kit. It comes with a 32 gig SD card and 4 gigs of RAM on the board. Now the Raspberry Pi does come in many different the Pi 4, I should say, comes in, I believe, three different models. Uh, 2 gig, 4 gig, and an 8 gig model. In this kit, being that it is a starter kit, it's everything you need to get started. I already pre-opened some of the boxes that comes in it. But it comes with an HDMI cable, a case, power supply, a USB SD card reader along with the SD card, heat sinks, fan, a power switch, and the actual Raspberry Pi computer. And along with this, a quick start guide along with a guide for the pin header. And this can be used for many different projects uh, for inputting and outputting signals to other devices. Which you can, numerous things, look it up on Raspberry Pi, you can find many different projects to do with that. So, first thing we'll do is we will open up the Raspberry Pi 4 box. And that is it. That is a computer. What we really first want to do, because these things can run very, very hot, is these are little heat sinks that we put on there. And there's a blue protective film. That you peel off and I've already built one of these so I know exactly which way these go but if you look through the book this square one goes square on that big silver chip right there then we got this rectangular one This will go on this RAM chip. And then the last one, this little one, for some reason, they feel that the USB 3.0 controller needs a heatsink. And I just did my fingernails, so that's going to be a royal pain in the butt. Now, I, I showed you that guide that had that pin out. Well, these are the 40 pins that you can plug things into. And when you look at the guide, might as well, while we have it, plug the fan in to the 5 volt, which is pin 4 and 6, right here and here. And you'll notice pin 6 is a ground black, pin 4 is a 5 volt. And that will power this fan. And we'll go ahead and mount that into the case when we get it done. But just to look around, we have a display port right here for the Raspberry Pi 7 inch touch screen. We also have a camera port. We have a USB C for the power. We have two mini HDMI ports, and that's why we have a mini HDMI 
to regular HDMI cable. We have an audio port. And then when we turn it around, we have two USB 2.0 and two USB 3.0 and an Ethernet port. And it also comes with the standard other things that come on a Raspberry Pi, a PoE header. Uh, so you can put a hat on top of this and power this by using power over Ethernet. That could be another video. So once we have this all set, we now open up the case. Top just pops open. The bottom just pushes right out. Now, if you notice on the bottom, there's an SD card slot. Do not put the SD card in until after it's in the case. Because then you will have a whole bunch of problems trying to get it in to the case. It slides in underneath here and goes in just like that. Voila, no screws needed because it holds into place here. And then when you put this on top, it is complete. Now, I did some testing and the best way to hook up the fan is to have it where this label is on this side. So when you flip it over, it's going to draw air in from the top and blow it right on the chip to keep it cool. So you just push that right into the slot that is designed for the fan. And let's go ahead and you can close her up just like that. And there it is, a complete Raspberry Pi. This memory card, you just slide it right in there into where it has a micro SD slot. Now plug in your power. This is actually a power switch. Your micro HDMI to regular HDMI so you can plug this into a TV or a computer monitor. That'll plug in. Make sure you plug this in to where it says HDMI 0, the one closest to the power. And it might help if you actually plugged it in the right way. There we go. Voila. And then the power adapter just plugs it in here, just like that. And the only other items you'll need is a monitor, keyboard, mouse, power. And if you don't have a Wi Fi connection, all you need is an Ethernet plug to plug it into the internet because this does have built-in Wi-Fi and built-in Bluetooth. And that it is it.